Hello. Welcome to the greatest group by review stream of the next two hours. Oh. Ah, oh, cherry picking video is good. You say that. YouTube disagrees. I fucking love not. It's like my worst video of all time. That's what I get for making helpful guides to help people. I should just make, you know, clickbait bullshit and be like, I built my friend. I pranked my friend with a surprise $7,000 keyboard. Also, my friend is a woman and has tits. Boom. Instant fucking 1 million views. How long did it take for your solder video to take off? I'm not sure. I don't think YouTube's reporting goes back that far to like give me actual analytics on the ramp up. But its initial takeoff is because people were sharing it and people were watching it. Oh. What's up, Threes? Oh. I quite enjoyed the cherry picking video. I found it hard to hear the difference between a bad leaf and a bad spring. I guess that comes with experience. I still struggle with it. Like, I cut the. Like, when I was doing the video, I was testing a couple switches. I'm like, ah, this is a bad spring. Then I try and I'm like, ah, nope, it's a bad leaf. It happens. All you need to know is it's bad. Your solder video had the best macro of solder vids then, not sure about now. Excuse me. I assume you oh. buy it as a kid. New five dollars donation from that South African guy. Have you learned how to South African accent yet? I have not learned the if South so, African accent. If so, say this in the accent. Yet, she sells seashells by the seashore. I can't do accents. She probably do sell the seashells by the seashore though. Oh. oh. I love the rating for the cherry picking video. It's like Australian Dutch, kind of, with some Afrikaans thrown in. But accent wise, yeah. Hey Simon, have you seen the cloud line? I noticed your sus Simon shaves his legs. Nothing wrong with it. It's nice to have very smooth legs. Makes you more aerodynamic. The audio a bit low. Is the audio a bit low for anyone else? I'm just talking at a reasonable volume. I'll I'll pick up as we uh wait, is it? Okay, is this better? Overall volume is low. My output volume is my output volume. Yeah, nothing has changed. Add 10% more. I have nothing more to add. What if I just move the mic? Oh, actually, it's, what the fuck? Memes. Penis. Hamilton. The donation sound was way louder. Well, because it's more annoying. You gotta have your annoying sounds be maximum loud. Bass, 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 boost your voice now. How is this? Is this good? Is this better? What about now? 
What about now? What about now? Is that deep enough for you? I can't hear it, by the way. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, we disable that. But I do, I literally have a voice deepener plugin because it came with uh, ERA6. ERA6 is a great piece of software. love knobs. Not for streaming, but for recording. Like I can remove echo. Oh no, it's getting blurry. Stop getting blurry. Stop it. I wish there was a filter to stop my camera from getting blurry. All right, give me a sec, let's fix it. It's literally still the same, isn't it? Yep. One second. Matt, this makes me laugh every time I see it, how you live like this. Uh, fun fact. This is my desk clean. This is the cleanest my desk has been in months. Like, there's only, like, a few bags of switches and some meme stuff. It's fine. How dare you use the play Golapold on stream? Listen, sir, you can't stop me. Does this work? It works. I now have a dedicated links button for when stream elements doesn't want to work. Wait, why is it blue? Wait, why is it blue? Oh, it's pointing. It's pointing at this. I fucking uh, love that's fucking knobs. great. Let's see if we can point it at the uh, HOM. Simon, are you balding? I mean, I'm in my mid 30s. Yeah, I'm balding a little bit. Who isn't? Are you not? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. No. Bro, this thing weighs like fucking 50 grams and it like undoes the balancing of my macro cam. He's a good boy now that he's been medicated for a while. Oh no, it's hot. And by that, I mean I had two vodkas before the stream. It's a matter of whiskey. Alrighty, let's review our meme of the week. How many grams of tolerance are you on? Like five or six right now, my dude? You are a little baby, watch this. These switches took 57 grams to bottom out, whereas they should be 70 to 80. The bottom out weight puts these switches closer to Cherry MX Silent Reds. Analysis of the claimed switches. The switches show no abnormalities. Its values are within specification. Within specification. Ah. Oh. Sure love factory springs. They're so good. They're so good. So good. Oh, we actually do have a gator on kiss as well as a sellout. So we'll put a sellout here, I guess. We'll do a little gator kiss. My IQ is within specifications. That's just not true. Uh, uh, as they say, uh, 
Please don't worry about it. Ah. All right, let's go, lads. Got ourselves the Petrocor FRL 1800. I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. We all scream for ice cream. Where's the frame for it? Wait, for what? I have the memory of a flamingo. Wait, what did I just show you? Oh, frames cost money. I don't have a frame. All right, it's the Petrocore by AKB. The idea with the Petrocore was to keep it simple. Simple mounting, implemented well, simple design, but enough to retain its own identity. Listen, not going to be toxic. I prefer the cipher. There's, there hasn't been too much of a story to tell, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've tried. It's good. If you buy this for Kate, you might get your cipher back. No, she also prefers the cipher. It is a eight degree typing angle, 6063 alu, 20 mil effective front height, 1.7 kilos built. Nice. Standard and HHKB ish layouts. Just call it Blackbird. It's okay. I hope you're time stamping. I am. Gasket mounted, QMK and VIA compatible PCBs, RGB LED indicator daughter board. Ah, that's very cool. I was going to do that for the NWO or the 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 I-80-1800. The original plan for the I-80 was to do the 1800 first, and it had a uh, separate daughter board for the indicators. Nice. USB 2.0 pass-through, OG-style product sticker, a la OGR. Internal brass weight to cover the hub parts. Bold, pronounced seam. I love them bold. All right. Manufactured by Hongtu. That's why this. Uh, actually, it looks kind of okay. Default universal plate. So, yep, big gasket mounts. A little bit of tabs on the bottom. Now, the only thing these are realistically doing... Uh, I mean, they'll give you a tiny bit of bounce. Assuming, like, the pads don't go all the way, which they absolutely do. Price, this is an IC. Okay, so prototype photos. Yes, it looks pretty. It's nice. Look at that tushy. Look at that tushy. This was also an Illuminati idea. <clears throat> okay. Canon keys only. And aiming for 250 bucks. For, for this layout and for this layout with a weight. Eggplant. Guys, why do you do this? Why do you put the good things first? Why do you like give me a false sense of security where I'm just like, cool, maybe the projects are not shit this week. And then like immediately after this is going to be like a fucking five side die sub weeb set with katana novelties and fucking uh, i don't even know this is nice james is nice we do like james we want you sober for the good ones but i started drinking before oh it literally uses cypher pcbs because you love to get cucked that's just not true okay guys the, don't you know don't don't take group buy reviews for granted for granted okay in the end i basically still stream just because i want to and group buy reviews fucking suck but i still do them so i don't have to do these okay i don't have to i fucking surely love no surely Can you remember me? What is a Cypher PCB, please, great sir? What? I mean, I have one in the Cypher over there. Sorry, you are the group by man now. I know. Why do you prefer the Cypher? Uh, it's more lightweight. I like the, uh, the front lip a little bit better than I like the front lip of this. This has a little bit more of a lip than the Cypher. In addition, this also has like USB pass through and a lot of cool shit, and it's got an internal weight. This is like on paper a better board, but I still prefer the Cypher. 
Also, I don't have money to buy keyboards, so this is my copium, okay? Let me cope. But this costs $100 less. Okay, so if I didn't have a cipher, okay, I would consider this. If I had money, which I fucking don't. Uh. All right, lads. Next, 60% development plan. But do you have a cipher? I mean, Kate has a cipher now. B Lab, B Less 60 by SR. Okay. Inspiration. Aha, uh -huh. copyright infringement. Got it. Less is triangle more. M mar? E? Square? Wait. 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 Guys, do you guys see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? If you can't see it, I'm I'm just going to draw a little outline for you to help see it, okay? Get my little outline out. Is this helping? Is this the thumbnail now? Exactly, Squid Game. All right. I don't care, just show me the keyboard at this point. So the idea is you got a top piece, center pieces, and then, or essentially back piece, front piece, mid piece. And that gives you three colors. Are they actually separate pieces? They are, which means you are gonna have seams. Oh, they're chamfered too. So you're gonna have very obvious seams. Nice. I will drug him if there's a ham cam. Hammy cat. You want drugs? Here. Eat drugs. Yeah. Have your antipsychotics. Yeah. Okay. So like copper bottom exposed. Haram. Copper is haram. God damn it. He's so long. You should not expose your bottom in public. What? That's true. You shouldn't. Copper, great. You shut your mouth. Oh no, I pressed something by accident. I entered the stream by accident. Oh no. My finger slipped. Oh god. How unfortunate. Oops. I didn't mean to time you out for that long. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone no use brass anymore? What? That's a weird bottom. Uh. It's quite funny waiting for group bike. Nice. What? Thanks. How to tell you told your friend to comment on your post so it wouldn't have zero comments. I hear copper is great. Listen, copper is fine. Brass is just cheaper, softer. Deeper sounding, uh, it's just better, okay? Why are you trying to put copper in keyboards? There's already copper in keyboards. What do you think the PCB traces are made out of? They're made out of copper. Which is softer, brass or copper? Brass! Did you not learn the lesson? I refuse. Copper is not softer. Okay, listen, listen. We're fucking doing it again, all right? Brass is made out of what? Brass is made out of copper and zinc, okay? Zinc is incredibly soft. Zinc, you can bend by hand. Copper, you I mean, you could probably bend it by hand if it was super thin, right? So copper is the, 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 the hard part of brass and zinc is the soft part of brass, okay? 
except for the fact that, you know, once you put them both together, they, be they become a little bit stronger. Listen, I still fucking prefer brass. Do you like this kind of two-tone design? I don't personally, but like, I prefer this to like some like stupid Matrix bullshit that, you know, Matrix loves to do. Here, since we don't have a hand to look at, give me a quick second to fix this. Brass is still stiffer than copper. You can't prove that. Yeah, you could get some flag patterns. You could do like Poland. You could do like uh, France. Uh, listen, if copper was so good, why aren't they fucking making flutes out of copper? Okay, and tubas and trombones. All right, there isn't much information here, and I don't think the idea is terrible. It's fine. Except for the fact that, you know, this is literally Lewis, so be careful. I do like the idea. The idea is fine. Assuming there's, like, different color options. Yeah, I'm down. Looks too Chinese to be Lewis. Lewis got uh, a PhD in uh, China. What is this Lego stuff? Uh, fun fact, inspiration, Lego. So it worked there. He nailed it. Thanks to Gondo, this is getting an okay hand. There you go. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. I don't give a shit. As long as it's cheap, like as long as this is cheap, it's fine. No Gondo PCB, though. This is China, bro. You think everybody can afford to hire a Gondo? When they can hire, you know, a small child that will not get paid, ever? Business. They're just a businessman doing business. All right. Next, we have the NS80. Makes me wonder what a China Gondo equivalent could be like. I'm pretty sure there are, like, China Gondos. That's... Oh, that's only one space? Wait, why does this have the giantest space after the colon? Oh. Alright, simple and elegant square, but distinctive customized keyboard that coordinates perfectly with ChatGPT. It's a creative masterpiece with rectangular laying for a unique visual appeal. And it's crooked in the picture. And it's crooked in the picture. So, already all your design and aesthetic points are gone, out the window. The main design concept of this keyboard is squareness. Very square. And harmony, aiming to achieve a fusion of simplicity and harmony. You just said that. Its uniqueness lies in the creative design of rectangular layering. Layering. Look at those clean rectangular layers. It's your monitor that's crooked. Don't make me fucking bust out the Photoshop. I'm already doing it. You, you can't stop me. What? What? Were we scammed? What? How can you not parse the file? I'm in the file. I'm in your walls. Okay, so apparently copyrighted image? No. No shot. Edit. Okay, I have an idea. If it's copyrighted, then we do this. 
Yeah, now what? Okay, so to whoever said the keyboard is straight. It's straight, guys. Straight. It's straight. It's the straightest keyboard. It's straighter than I am. Okay. How you got money for Photoshop license? Uh, well, first of all, it's 2014. Second of all, uh, I got it for a very, very good price. A very, very good price. Uh, like I went into, I went into my NAS and I went into software downloads and I searched for Adobe or I searched for Photoshop. It's somewhere in here. It's just, this it's, it's, it was there. Careful NAS leaks. I don't, it's software downloads, dude. You'll show us Naruto. I, okay. First of all, this is my data drive, not my like movie and TV show drive. So. Not in the subscription trap yet, bro. I'm not going to fucking pay for software that's on my computer all the time. Show music folder, uh, low quality music or main music. There, it's just a bunch of stuff that I had on my, uh, on my DAP. Then I have my low quality music. The differences between current and 2014 Photoshop can be too big. It's really not, unless you use like the generative AI features, AKA the features. Anyway, rectangles. Look at that rectangle. That's, that's nice. Wait. Nice. Simple. 80. That's what the NS stands for. Oh, look, you have cutouts for every single switch in the PCB. And it's hot swap. And it's also not straight in the picture. Please review the compact ergo again. N no. Okay, so this is cursed. So unless this is like $132... Is that poop? That's the same picture from up there. One hundred eighty to two hundred. I'm just gonna newspaper this. Just this gets cycled. This gets cycled so hard. And yeah, I, I, I see that it's 100 MOQ, but you know, this cycle, 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 cycle has real PCB, cycle has real materials, cycle comes from a real maker, cycle is good, okay? I am not biased at all. I have no biases. I mean, I have yet to even try it, so maybe it's terrible. If it's terrible, I'll let you know. Can you make your poop that smooth? Yes, I have an immersion blender. The cycle will bring peace to Israel. I don't recognize such countries. All right, next we have the Bifrost 80 slash 880. Stream down any moment. I'm in Dubai. Prior to like 2015, like like when I moved here, I worked in aviation and like if if somebody was like asking for a charter flight between like London and like Tel Aviv, instead of writing the four letter uh, the four letter airport airport code, they would write XXXX because it was that forbidden to even like mention Israel. But then, you know, UAE was just like, hey, you have money. Yeah, you're all right. Aviation reminds me of Boeing. I mean, I wasn't in commercial aviation. I was in private aviation. But yeah, Boeing has been very sussy for a long time. 
Hello everyone, it's S61, the man, the myth, the legend, layout inspiration. Okay, so a terrible 60%, a terrible 69%, a terrible 1800 mini, and an actual good keyboard. Nice. Looking back at the first... Okay, we're just going to look at the pictures. Okay, so you're using separate PCBs, just like the Glare did, and then a lot of big brain keyboards. I like that. Uh, your terrible render is Hot Swap, which I hate. Uh, this kind of looks like the Moon 80, but like new and shitty. Okay, it has the 880 layout, which is fine. I like the 880 layout. But it's removable. So it looks stupid. So it has a seam there the entire time. I, are you going to give me a freaking replaceable wing keyless blocker? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, you can make it Southpaw. Fine. Also, this picture is crooked. Okay. I, I like that you're... I like that you're giving this layout option, and I like that you can south pot. That's very cool. Uh, side design is not great, in my opinion. Rear design is boring. Back this, uh, sorry, bottom design is oof. Looks terrible, but whatever. Who cares? Don't these guys have Adobe Photoshop 2014? I mean, they probably have like 2022. Like, I see what you're doing. I'm just not loving the design styling personally. And it looks like it's going to be hot swap only anyway. So, all right, let's see. What, where are we aiming for price-wise? Let's just find that. Like ballpark. Ballpark me, daddy. Okay, they have actual samples. You didn't bother to get them finished at all. That's very, very representative of what I can expect. Okay. Everything is hot swap. And it looks like there is no price. Cool. It's a lot of rush rush. Because the Chinese love terrible, terrible fucking PCBs. Let me just make sure I'm not missing the price. I don't think I'm missing the price. The easy way is to just look for zero, zero, zero. Or double zero. Yeah. Okay, so we don't know what this price is. We know that it's hot swap only, which is... Sus. This is great. What do you mean? It's hot swap only. Also, this person paid for an iPhone 15 Pro Max, so... Mm, that's kind of indicative of where your priorities are. So, of course, you're going to make it hot swap only. I do like the pogo pins, which we'll see once this loads. Those are pretty cool. Pogo. Okay, so listen. I want to newspaper this, but like my only issue with it is that it's hot swap only. I like the layout options. I like that you can make it Southpaw. I like a lot of things. This is literally 1984 and being silenced for liking copper. Yes. Do I newspaper this? Do I okay hand this? Considering the single prototype they have looks sussy as fuck and the design kind of looks egregious as shit. You know what? I'm going to give it an okay hand and a newspaper. I'm going to give it both. Yeah, concept is good. Execution is in. That's that's the thing. 
Like, that's what's missing here. You had a good idea, but then kind of flopped real hard on it. Yeah. All right. What do we got? Chroma Keyboard Kit. Some hot swap sockets are so tight they hold stronger than solder, I feel. Uh, let me know when there's uh, hot swap sockets that allow you to put the switch where there isn't a hot swap socket. Once they come out with those, then I'll listen. Okay, so it's 189 euros or 240 with zero code. Let's see if there's pictures. There is not. Okay. <coughs> Unfortunately, most boards that are sold these days are hot swap. It far outsells solder options. Yeah, I mean, most cars made are automatic. Let's just stop selling manual drive cars. As a matter of fact, let's just stop selling sports cars and luxury cars, because people don't buy those. The majority of people just buy fucking Toyota Corollas. Let's just make Toyota Corollas for everyone, you know? The majority of people just fucking eat meat and chicken, so... You know, fuck the vegans and the vegetarians and, you know, people that are lacto lactose intolerant. Just fucking... Everybody needs to eat fucking cheese and meat. It's a terrible fucking argument, is my point. There is an enthusiast level, and people at the enthusiast level should be catered to. The overlapping layout options are not an issue if you solder the hot swap sockets. Have you ever tried to solder hot swap sockets? You know you can't do it with just an iron, right? You need, like, flux and, like, a heat gun and shit like that and steady hands. It's hard. I can't fucking do it. And if I can't do it, then I presume nobody else can. Okay, there's literally one picture. This is the only picture. This is the only picture. So what? It's 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 a it's a unicorn like Sussy Bekenico. Is this a Sussy Bekenico? Got to check their Discord for info. Oh, that that makes it real easy. This gets a spoon. There we go. Problem solved. All right, next we have GMK Kura. All right, is it Weeb? Wait, wait, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. It's Weeb. It's fucking 100% Weeb. Confirmed. Kura is my love letter to the springtime when the cherry blossoms bloom back home in Korea. Oh, so close. So fucking close. Like, I saw cherry blossoms and I'm like, yeah, yeah, nope, Korea. All right, let's look at it. All right, it's like uh, it's like peach on white, which fine. This is acceptable. Was there another gator kiss that I missed? Oh, I got to cough really loudly. Oh, Korean stuff, good. Japanese stuff, good. If you sim for America, make a GMK hamburger, I see. Hamburgers are from Hamburg. Okay. Get edumacated. That's why they're called hamburgers. GMK donut. <laughs> uh, okay and then there's a reverse honestly they don't look too bad show it to me on a board yeah it's a nice it's a nice simple like peach on white can't go wrong there we go gmk gun gmk second amendment gmk a no gmk second amendment with ar-15 novelties aka lower receivers and only lower receivers that, that have been modified to do illegal things. GMK war crimes? Ah! GMK microplastics. That's pretty good. GMK diabetes? Ah! Maybe. Ah. 
look, it's the OGR. All right, honestly, it looks fine. Please, please stop fucking rendering on these boards. Hello? GMK pickup truck? No, GMK overly sized pickup truck with dual superchargers and a fucking Hemi. Yeah. GMK school shooting. Honest. Honestly, I see a lot of potential there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Too soon? It's always too soon because there's always fucking shootings. Yep, it is nice and simple. I do like this. Uh, sorry about the discussion of school shootings during this, but hey, this is a nice key set. It even has a double zero. What more could you want? As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm giving it an eggplant. I am giving it an eggplant because it's simple. It's two colors. Two colors. Two. That's it. That's all you fucking need. What's price? Uh, this is an IC, so we will not know the price. Considering it's only two colors and assuming that C3 and L9 are both GMK stock colors, realistically, I would anticipate like maybe like 120 for this full base kit. Simon, K-pop enjoyer confirmed. Yes, I am a K-pop enjoyer because I think that simple, nice, two-color, well-kitted sets are good because they're inspired by cherry blossoms in Korea. Um, unironically, I listened to K-pop once in my life. When I was still li living with my South African roommate prior to him moving out, I like, I like, somebody brought up K-pop and he was like, I don't know what K-pop is, and I, like. In my head, I'm like, I've never listened to K-pop. So I like went on YouTube, I tried, I typed on K-pop and like clicked on like the first like biggest video. And within like five seconds, I'm just like, I want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> so there we go. There's some K-pop in Trombone Hero. You listen to Gangnam Style? That That's not K-pop. That is very much not K-pop. That's just pop. I bet you listened to BTS. I don't remember what I listened to. I don't think it was. It was like one, one girl. BTS is like a, a bunch of people, right? Gundam style is absolutely K-pop. Oops. Oh no. Ah, oh, old man fingers. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Hello Tech, why would you even subscribe? <laughs> this is the worst keyboard channel on the internet. <laughs> Woo! Alright, let's move on. GMK R4 OG. Okay, this sounds based. Unironically, this sounds based. This is my first IC, please use loop. Okay, nice. Thank you for telling me. Kidding. Okay, so it's... It's for when you have R5, but you want R4. So this is the opposite of based. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you also got Dolch. Yeah, I mean, it's just R4. It's fine. You don't want R5 all the time. It sucks on low-angle boards. Yeah, GMK as a whole sucks on low-angle boards. When did regular Dolch even run the last time? Every day, baby. What about the space bar? Uh, the space bar is not R5. There's no R5 space bar. It's just a normal space bar from GMK. Okay, you know what? As as much as I disagree with, you know, you ever... This is like buying, like, a fucking, like, Lamborghini and then, like, taking out the stock exhaust and then putting in, like, the most restricted fucking mufflers so you don't wake up your neighbors when you gotta drive to, to 
your wage slave cage at 6 a.m. But I will give this an eggplant. It's like you have something good, but you want something less good, which, which is fine, okay? You have the freedom to do that. It's okay. I know, that's the best part. Wage slave with a Lambo. Means you fucking worked hard for that Lambo. R5 looks like my board is a hard-on. Exactly! And you got it. You nailed it. It's perfect. You got it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and he's running it at cost. It's perfect. Is it expensive to pay Microsoft for what? Wait, who's paying Microsoft? Are you guys paying Microsoft? Please stop. Is GMK back? Yeah, GMK's back. They realized that uh, sales went down. And uh, the logical thing is not to raise prices. It's to lower prices and also have decent lead times, which they did. Go figure. Why are all these fat girls on Tinder saying that they love the gym and sports, Simon? As a gym and sports lover myself, you just won't understand. Proper HHKB layout, bottom row is a sleeper hit in this kit. What do you mean? Oh, one of you alts? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly? Oh, no, there's super keys. I was going to be like, oh, if there were only 1.5 few supers, that'd be amazing. That's nice. Nice. Ask an IT friend for a Windows key. Why would you need a Windows key? Oh, it's not even in my history. Yeah, like, Windows is free. Everything is free. It could use some alt gurs. It could. It could, but listen. Ah, it'd be nice if one if one of the, like... I think, like, the one you stays as a standard alt, but then maybe your uh, 1.25 1. and your 1.5s, you can have a single alt gur. Delete system 32 while you're at it. Uh, instructions unclear. All right. Next, we have the Yak 40. Oh, baby. It's on GitHub, so. That's probably good. Oh, no. 100% Python. I ain't talking to no snakes. Yak 40 is an Alice like keyboard. Are there pictures why is the case a python file bro do you expect me to fucking open this up in fusion just show me a picture Yeah, the amount of people that are saying just trust. Okay. Uh, all right, let's, let's read your license. What is the Windows connection sound from? Uh, there isn't one. Nice try. This is made up. This is fake. This is a fake license. All of this is fake. Okay, I am newspapering this because at the very least, show me pictures, bro. Show me pictures. I don't want to download files from the internet and fucking boot them up in my Fusion to fucking, like, have a basic idea of what it looks like. Like, I, 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 I understand what you're trying to do, and that's very cool, but, like... Oh, wait, there's a drawing 
It's a PDF. If this doesn't preview here, I'm not downloading a PDF. Okay. It looks like a 40%. And it's not Alice-like. What makes something Alice-like is the shape of the case, not only the tent. And there is no tent. You've done zero tent. Oh no, there's a slight tent. There is a tent. You look very, very closely. Here, I'll show you where the tent is. All right, I don't even want to look at this anymore. Get some pictures, dude. Do some renders. It's not hard. You, 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 you have Fusion. Just press the render button in Fusion. I know how to do that with my three hours of Fusion experience. All right, finally, balls out. Okay, there's, there's pictures. There's pictures. There's pictures. Calm down. See? There we go. It's in C. Good job. Lasovo style keyboard that fits a hubris case that has a trackball, trackball or a trackpad option and the EVQ roller encoder. Closed source. Excuse me? But my source. But my source! Do you use Vim or VS Code? I use Nano. Balls Out is compatible with the following cases. Campsite, Campsite plus Coriander, Hubris, Pomelo, Carpool, Barca, and Coriander. I don't know what any of these are. Okay, so it's it's got balls. It's got We're licensed? Yeah, where's where's the license? I mean it's it's closed source, so. Okay, so you got QMK source, you've got a temp dump, and you've got a it's it's literally just it's literally just a PCB. So it's a closed source PCB. It's a nice ball. Those are nice balls. So you couldn't afford to buy any of the keyboards listed up there to make a PCB for it, but then you make it fucking closed source. Sure. Why are you manually... Did... What have you done? What have you done? Okay, wait. I fucking love knobs. No, it seems like like he only like had to like do this on the proto, I guess. Apparently not. All right, I'm just going to give this a spoon. I, no, 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 no. Closed source doesn't even own one of the fucking boards, yet fucking makes it closed source, so like... D e d w w what? And then like... Hey, you know if it was open source, somebody could probably fix your dumbass fucking mistake?
Okay. Oof. Okay, I need a moment. I fucking love I need a series of moments. And I need more vodka. Take a moment to kiss your gator. Nice try. I will take a moment to kiss this glass. That's some Sprite. Is vodka blue? The glass is blue. Oh. All right, it's time for a quick little sellout. Hello, boys and girls. Do you like keyboards? Do you like when people also like keyboards? Do you like when I tell you you like keyboards? If you do, you, 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 sh you should, I don't know, you should watch my streams and like uh, tell your mom about it. You guys know that if you have Amazon Prime, okay? Not only, <clears throat> not only can you buy eggplants delivered to your door within 24 hours, okay? But you can link it to your Twitch account and then you can sub to Teehee Types for free every month. Should absolutely, you should absolutely do that. It's not vodka, it's gasoline. Gasoline is yellow. Also, thank you, Shilling Bot. Uh, that bot is telling you that you, you can donate to help the stream if you have money. If you don't have money, that's fine. Save your money for next week when these come out. Maybe do that. That was like the worst sellout of all time. Please unsubscribe from my YouTube channel. Please unsub from my Twitch channel. Please stop watching this stream. This is the worst keyboard stream on the internet. Thanks for watching. What is wrong with you people? What is that even pointed at? Oh, that's a switch opener. All right, protagonist 60%. Surely this is going to be a nice keyboard. It is $350 for a 65% in the day of our Lord 2024. Gion likes it. Gion is a millionaire, okay? I am not a fucking millionaire, okay? I have to think logically about whether or not I like something based on what it costs. Oh, this is a 60%. It's a $350 60%, okay. I, I, I wish your pictures were better. Are there more pictures? Hello? Pictures? How do you have so many fucking words and no pictures? Is the base cost full alu? Let's find out. No. It's with brass. Copper is an additional $20 for you idiots. Review the vendor? I'm not familiar with the vendor. Oh, look. Okay, so it's cruelest. So it's stupid, first of all. Got it. It's got a large weight. Fair enough. It's an F1 from the side, basically. Kind of. It's hot swap. <laughs> Show me your layouts. Okay, there's solder. There's solder. Interesting. Configure yours. Is that going to take me right back to the page where I can buy it? Yep. All right. <clears throat> Give it to me an USMC red. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's literally just red.
it's fifty dollars for red anno over silver and black are you high Seracoded? Where does it fucking say that? Like, where is the information? In the description? Where? 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 Sarah. Zero. Zero, sir. Zero responses for Sarah. Okay? Ah. Oh, it's here. The, it's it's here instead of fucking putting it where it should be i gotta fucking reference a fucking spreadsheet to figure out what's what All right, so like properly kitted, it's 550 bucks. But that's with Seracote that you're way overcharging for, for the record. $100 for a keyboard for an upgrade to Seracote is rough. Like if it was like 50 bucks for the whole thing, yeah, okay. So do you guys think that this is fair for a 60%? Like I know that it starts at only $350, but does it? It's more than a Glare 65? Yep, sure is. I mean, to be fair, okay, the base model is 350, but it's like 350 for like a black or silver fucking 60%. Sorry, it's like, like, wh what are you even doing? I'm just going to give this a don't buy. I'm just going to give this a don't buy. This could also get rose gold and orange. Oh, baby. I'm all about rose gold and orange. Where's orange? Is it mocha? Am I stupid? Ah, hunter orange. I don't know. I, th I, I think colors are like... Like, huge color selection is not as important as you would think for sales. If you look at, like, actual sales metrics for boards that have a bajillion colors, most people are going to pick, like, less than 20% of the colors total. Base seems fairly priced. I don't think it's fairly priced. I think it's on the high end. To be fair, the weight is decently large. So, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe. But still, oof. Mocha is brown. I know brown is really hard to do. This is not going to end up brown. It's three kilos. See, I sure wish I could find that information. Okay, it starts at four. Okay. Which is under two kilos. 1.8 kilos. That is not three kilos. Maybe for like the fully decked out versions or something. Also, that's a huge fucking range. That's a kilo range. That's like a 1.1 kilo range. Excuse me? What's the high end if you use depleted uranium keycaps? Anyway, this is keeping a don't buy. There's so many fucking sussy things all over the place that are just driving me crazy. PC there's a polycarbonate option? There is! Aha! Okay. So yeah, it is three kilos. Buy a fucking Glare 65, and if you really want a 60, buy a Glare 60. Don't fucking buy this shit. Buy from a reputable vendor and designer that actually has a history of, like, 
delivering good shit. Maybe. Maybe do that. <sighs> Alright, Riva V2, another 60%. What is it? Fucking like 2017? Everything's a 60% now? Yay, it's a 60%. It's got curves. Look, it's a it's it's not a Kohaku. I mean, we've seen this before, and if I remember correctly, I liked it. Unless the price is like something absurd. Let's find out. That's a lot of machining that is not necessary. 340 bucks. For another 60. For that much complexity. That's still not a great deal. I mean, it's fine, but it's still not a great deal. Apparently the PCB just sits directly on the case. Yeah, it's called PCB mount. It's a Shamu. You're a Shamu. Ah. Hey, look at that. See, this is the correct amount of options. It's nice looking, but it's still a 60%. So, like, it's going to look like a 60% on your desk. That's the thing. Shows 400 euros for me. Uh, consider living in a uh, portion of the globe that isn't cupped. Just wait for Sting, Sting a 6G, Stingray wait, little sister to Kohaku. I doubt it's going to be this cheap. Elaine's boards are pricey. Arc 6G on my desk makes me feel good. Arc 6G is fucking great. Arc 6G gives a lot of like layout options and is gorgeous. Do I consider this gorgeous? I do like Orca. Orca good. You know what? I'll give it a hesitant buy. At least it's not a screwless. True. True. You make a valid point. It is not a screwless board. So, like, at least, like, it's a normal board. The turquoise color, color is unique. No, it's not. That is a very, very common color. This or Lily? I can't recall. But yes. This is decent. Now with Hot Swap. Wait. Okay, available in an extra kit. Okay. Okay. Oof. You scared me there. That fucking terrified me. Okay. Last but not least, the T9. This better be what I think it is. Oh, the Lily by Gok. Mm, eh, whichever you like. Oh, it's this. Okay. Listen, this is cool, okay? I am by no means discounting this. I like this very much. There's another board that's coming out that's gonna be nicer and not big China memes. About T9, Alex Sotos did a video and I think Top Rose oddly sits deep in the case, like that one. Yeah, yeah, logically it would, right? Cause you got a big ass wedge. Yeah, like it's wedge shaped. So like once you get to like this point, look how deep that is in there. I mean, it makes sense. It's a big ass wedge. A board you can't talk about? No, we've seen it. It's the uh, uh, 21XX, I think, is what it's called. The one by uh, Pontus. And it's cross arrows. It's based. All right. How many monies do they want for this? That's the question. Oof. Starts at 3260. It's 
560 bucks starting price. And it goes up to 3360, which is not a huge difference. Yeah. Five kilos built? Yeah, I mean, it's just a massive slab of, of aluminum. When it comes to, like, wait for something like this, like, don't be deceived and just be like, oh, it weighs more, therefore, you know, it's more, it should be more expensive. But don't forget that CNT, CNC is a, like, it's a subtractive process, not an additive process. So if you start with, like, a bar stock, that's approximately the size of this board. Whether or not you're machining this board or a 60%, this is actually less machining, you know? I mean, there is more material to powder coat and hand polish, that's uh, right, uh, sandblast, hand polish, and, uh, and anodize. So yeah, fair enough, but still. So another link at the end of this link that has more photos. This one. How do you buy this? Uh, you need to know how to China. Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah. You, you gotta know how to China. This is basically Chinese Google Forms. If this was Taobao, then like anybody would be able to do it, but you'll probably need, uh, you'll probably need Alipay. Like I do like it based on the inspiration. Like we've seen this before, it's a nice board. 21XX is like a mini battleship with a cherry case styling. This is much different. Yeah. One of those two things is better than the other. Giggle. This do be pricey. This do be pricey for what it is. It has weights. It has tiny weights. It really doesn't need them. To be fair, the placement of the weights like this far up is actually a good play. All right, considering that nobody can buy this and it's basically unbuyable unless you're literally Chinese, that's a Simon approved buy. Copper fill zone or no fill zone? You're, you're... You mean ground planes? Wonder if they would have any worldwide group buys? Probably, and it'll probably be like $600. Uh, honestly, I mean, it depends what you're trying to do. On a standard keyboard, you, you 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 do want a copper layer in your PCB. If you're trying to do some wild shit where you're trying to get like mega flex out of something, yeah, then you can go without any ground plane. What do you mean? But it's not grounded. It, they're still grounded, just not throughout the entire PCB. Okie dokie, we did it. Yay! Oh, God, my existence. Okay, I need a moment. I need a moment. I need a series of moments. Let me... Oh, what's that 205? New $10 donation from Choas. Thanks to your eBay hint last week, I have now an old Alps Apple keyboard connected via an Arduino Leonardo to USB to type this message. That's actually amazing. Thank you. I wouldn't have gone to eBay, so like, unless you got it for like under like 35, 40 bucks, unless it was super clean, eBay is not the place I would go. I'd like maybe Yahoo Auctions, maybe Mercari. Unless like you, you, you find good shit on eBay where it's just like lot of old keyboards, one dollar, and they're all like fucking green Alps Zenus. Ah, oh. and then like actual like next door soft keys. Oh. That, that's literally like, sometimes I have dreams. Sometimes I have dreams where like, I find like the bitch in this deal where like in my dream, I'm on like Craigslist or eBay or whatever the fuck. And I find like, you know, case of old keyboards and like I go in and it's got like beam springs in it that are mint literally in the box with the user's manual and like a certificate stamp by the guy that built it. And like a picture of his photo ID being held up. And then I wake up and I'm just like, God. Why can't we live in this world? You'd harvest all of them for switches anyway. Not all of them. Some I would keep. There's 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 a few like OG boards I wouldn't harvest for switches. I mean like beam spring and buckling spring. Automatically you can't harvest those, so you just restore them. Uh, if we're talking like green alps or brown alps, listen. If I had two green alps boards, I would let one live. Sometimes I have dreams where Simon eggplants my IC. 
I had a dream I found a non ADB keyboard in school dumpster. Uh, all right, OTD 360C build log. Oh, baby. Keyboard was 35 euros. Eh, that's fine. This board has been chilling on the shelf a while now. Okay, stop, stop flexing. Is this real or is this a colon? Because if this was actually sealed for 11 years, like I feel like the, the patina would have gotten like way deeper into the weight. Real? Can you prove it? I mean, PCB will tell us everything. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Korean food wrap, patina proof. That is not how you use your tip tinner. You're not supposed to stab it. You're supposed to just like do this. Like rolling your PP in the flour before you make a cake. You're not supposed to jab it through it. Okay, your through hole work is nice. Okay, yeah, it's real. It's got like the dumbass switches that, you know. Yep. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Okay, there's probably going to be a lot of PCB shit. <sighs> look at the professionally soldered components. They look fine, dude. It looks fine. Okay, this was way more patina than the first picture. And cleaning patina is near impossible. You, you'll make it worse 100% of the time. Excuse me? Okay, so it's only on one side. Okay, that's internal. Yep, that that that's a Corsa. Yep. Ooh. Good choice. Good choice. How's that Anno matching? Yeah, it's kind of shit. People are like, oh, Simon, should I buy an OTD or a UTD? No! No! Fucking take your money, spend something. Like, buy something that was released this fucking century that actually has anno matching and firmware that doesn't require a fucking degree in, like, electrical engineering to use. Good job. What's the lore of that board? The Corsa? I... OTD made it, sold it. I was around when it happened. I was like, ah, it's too expensive. That's how you know it's actually real shit anno. I mean, I'm pretty sure the fakes would have shit anno as well. To be fair, like, the color is probably close in person. And, like, the top looks pretty. I can see anno striping. That is a lot of striping. You guys see that striping? I mean, I don't have to, like, make it bigger. You can see the striping, like, stripes going across. Yeah. How do you tell if it's a UTD? Uh, you, you don't? I don't fucking know. I'm not skilled in like searching for differences because I don't buy fake boards. I buy real keyboards from the actual makers every time. I don't buy secondhand, nor would I ever. GMK sorting machines at their best. Oh, baby, show it to me. How many sevens do you have? Damn, so much knowledge about keyboards must be a curse. Most people would think that Anno is great. It's not great. Like, a lot of people would think the Anno is okay. And back when, like, you know, 
the Corsa was out, yeah, it was considered okay, but the tech has gotten a lot better. You know, we've, we've realized how to, you know, color and reflectivity match things a lot better than before. Yeah, this is very much within specifications. To be fair, this happened from uh, my Signature Plastics uh, 9009 set, one of my DCS 9009 sets, where like, I think it was the eight or something, like something around here, like same area. They're probably using the same sorting, uh, sorting machines. Ah. Uh, the comments are great. The comments are great. Ah. Uh. All right. Geonworks F1 8X V2 has sold 2.9k units. I'm aware. I, I'm I'm not gonna read all these words. It's literally this. They were 2.9k F1 sold, which is great. Uh, TLDR: <coughs> 10 to 12 months. Which, to be fair, is very much like not Geon's general business model. And I don't know if he's like changing his business model because like a while back, I mean, prior to, you know, <clears throat> Glare basically taking control of the keyboard side of his business, uh, basically everything would be a pre-order where you would be buying a keyboard that was already at some level of production. Like it could be very early on in production, but like the boards existed to, to some degree. But this is like an actual, actual group buy, which... I guess the F2 is an actual group buy too. I don't even think there are 2.9k hobbyists left. Don't worry, there's 2,895 of those are flippers. But yeah, it's going to take some time. All good things take time. What are you going to do? How much money does Gion actually make from the keyboard business? Not much. His primary income stream is his like actual CNC business. Like stuff like this doesn't even go through his factory because like his CNC factory, because it's not worth it. He can make significantly more money doing government contracts and stuff. W1 was a group buy as well. That probably explains why it took me like two years to get mine. Does it even make sense to flip a board that sold 3K units? Listen, you can't talk sense to flippers. Flippers are just like, ooh, people like this. Surely my investment will pay off in two years. Can you leak classified government Gion design files? I probably could. Actually, like I've seen some shit. And by that, I mean, I've seen nothing. Keychron with a spicy pillow. It better be a big chili. Wait, what? Oh no. Yeah, it, it, it bulged in transit. It happens. It happens. It happens. It probably like took a super, uh, super hard head in transit or something like that. Or maybe like it hit a super high temperature. It happens. I'm pretty sure like Keychron is just going to be like, they'll take it back. They'll RMA it. I'd stab it. You should. Yep. Hit a super angry gamer. No, just like gently remove it, cut the cables, and then put it in the angry gamer's like back pocket and then slap their ass as hard as you can. That's the play. Sled the air out. Exactly. <laughs> Using your teeth. <laughs> ah. All right, lads. Hey, we did it. All right. Oh. Let me let me get ready for the video section.
We got him. This is in stock. I assume you buy it as a kid. Two New five dollars donation from Bachu Bachu fan. Bachu graduated. graduated. Please, Please congrats, congrats him. him. Bachu, I'm so sorry for your loss. Good luck finding actual sustainable like life and work and existence in this sad, sad existence we all exist in. Exist. Oh. I'll sustain your mom. Could you? That'd be really sweet. All right, Omnitype. Omnitype gets FedExed again. Again? Video hosting made easy. Only YouTube existed. Love how this only has eight views. Collateral damage. These bower boxes were pierced. Hello? This piece of wood literally went all the way through three boxes. This is in between these two boxes. That means there's literally a giant hole in everything in there. Yeah, if only insurance existed on packages. Oh my gosh! Like, why are you even recording this and posting it to your Instagram? Holy moly. What, like, what is the point of this? Like, damage happens all the fucking time. You reach out to the logistics provider and you're like, here is the value of the damaged goods. Could this PCB a goner. There's literally wood in it. Wood PCB. How the fuck did that piece of wood? I mean, I presume it was shipped in a pallet. I presume that the pallet was probably forklifted at one point, uh, pushed up somewhere. You probably have uh, like one of the uh, like one of the uh, pallet rails pop up. Uh, it could be a pallet that was beside it that was pushed up to it, penetrating it from the other side. Why is the dude recording crying? Because he's only one year old and he's being forced to work full time. Bill got survived. <laughs> I know, buddy. It's crazy. P stock? I think it'll still work. <laughs> See? See? Forced labor. <laughs> Oh, that's good as new. That's fine. Yeah, pull it through the wide side. Somebody fucking didn't go to science I school. I kind of wish there was an actual housing in this to see if it would have survived. <laughs> this PCB might have actually survived. You just grazed it? I think it went off to the side. Yeah, just ship it to a customer. Surely. Instead of literally just cataloging oh everything and hitting up your logistics provider. Not even a hole in the bag. Somehow none of the components were damaged. Literally Bro, I can't fucking wait for th the people that ordered these boards to just be like, Hey, I just got mine. My PCB is dead. Hey, I just got mine. And there's a random fucking scratch. I can't fucking wait. Uh, introducing the new Mode 65 end me. Years of learning, growing, and listening closely to the voices of our community, we find ourselves ready to bring back one of our most popular keyboards ever, the 65.
For us, this project was a labor of love, and we went into it with great care and attention to detail in order to preserve the defining elements of the original. Okay, first of all, it's not a shill, okay? It's not a shill, okay? Here, we're, we're all going to learn together. Endowment effect, okay? <clears throat> the endowment effect describes a circumstance in which an individual places a higher value on an object that they currently own than the value they would place on that same object if they did not own it. It's called being stupid. Stupid people... Uh, uh, what we'll also do a uh, sunk cost fallacy. The phenomenon where a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or a course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it's clear that the abandonment would be more beneficial. So that plus the endowment effect is literally this guy of fuck. I already own a keyboard. You guys are the best company. Surely so good. The best. That first common guy is a professional dick rider. Oh, yeah, he felt like Olympic level. Oh. Oh, God, I fucking hate this. I could, can we just not? There, Matrix makes fun keyboards. No. This is the Matrix board, by the way. This is the new Matrix keyboard. So it's the Matrix 8V. Three, one third. So good. Just a little heads up before we get too into this today. This is sent to me by Matrix, okay? I'm assuming, I'm gonna make the assumption just cause I, I, I'm going by the previous build we've done in the past. They're gonna let me probably keep this. Um, you guys have seen stuff in the past. Most of the- Matrix is fucking sending you boards? Which did fucking send me boards, not to keep. Just send me boards. Boards, I would say like 90% of them I end up giving away. This probably may not be one or may, may be one. Who knows? We'll see how we, at the end, but just to be transparent. Um, I also work for one of the vendors. Also, good job, Alex. That's very good transparency. See, that's good. That will be carrying this, but you guys know me. Just like I did the last Matrix board, the Navi, where I was not. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so apparently Matrix Albert has blocked me. So uh there's our answer. I can't I can't find the the history in Discord. Too keen on it? It just wasn't for me, I don't think. I'm gonna be honest. Um so just to let you guys know though, so we're all transparent here, you know. This is a prototype though, just so you guys can see it is a prototype. I don't know what the prototype entails. I don't think there's much different, but if there is something that ends up being wacky about this, I will let them know immediately. Um, but this, I think, that ends up being wacky. Guys, look at the bottom left. Look in the bottom left. Do you see it? Do you see it? About this, I will let them know immediately. Um, but this is something that prototype. I don't know what the prototype entails. I don't think there's much different, but no. if there is something that ends up being wacky about this, I will let them know immediately. Um, but this, I think, will only be available for like two days. It has up to 8K polling. I don't know because I didn't research this, but I want... I have a mode board roast me. I mean, okay. I mean, you have a mode board, meaning you bought it and then learned your lesson. So I, I don't see a problem with it. If you're like, I have three mode boards and I'm going to buy five more, then I'd roast you. I want to say I don't think I get too many of those in. 8K polling's you know, uh, keyboards. In fact, I don't think I've ever done an 8K polling keyboard. The most I think I've done is 1K. I don't know what the, anything else is past the 8K polling rate. Um, I can find out more information for you guys. Perhaps we'll do a longer written review. However, this is a shorter Is group Alex not a mode shill? I don't think Alex is a shill. I think Alex is a content creator that gets paid to be a content creator. So by default, can't be, you know, my level of critical or aggressive. That aside, he's just a nice guy that likes things. So, like, I, I don't hold him against him. You're allowed to like everything. It's just like, if you like everything, then, like, what is bad if everything is good? 
I don't know. That's that's my take, and it's fine if you like shit. Like I'm I'm generally like positive on most of the boards that I review, mostly because you know people that are ballsy enough to send me their boards for review know that they have to nail it. So yeah, Alex is Canadian. He can't fucking help himself. Another thing too is pricing. Pricing wise, I think this starts at five fifty. PCB thickness is 1.2, no flex cuts, as you guys already know, with most Matrix keyboards. Uh, it does have the adjustable. Melatrix have stopped sending him boards. Melatrix offered to send me boards, and I told him to fuck off. See, that's the difference between Alex and me. Is I can look at it and just be like, no, this is fucking stupid. I don't want it. USB -C. What does being Canadian have to do with it? Listen, bought you. The ex th you are the exception that proves the rule. D ports. Um, it's perfectly fine to like shit stuff. Some people even like the Reacher TV show. Hmm. Yeah, surely. It supports top mount only, uh, but it does give you some types of film to achieve different typing fields, which we can kind of explore today. It does have a replaceable front cover, which is really cool, and it has some really cool accent pieces. Let's take a look at this uh, pretty little keyboard. There's the box. We have standoffs for the PCB, silicone films, so I'm guessing this is just gonna be okay listen I'm, I'm not gonna be able to roast anything that alex does because like he's too sweet like i can't be a dick to alex i can absolutely disagree with his like views and his oh look a video from uh, a good uh youtube creator look at that you should watch this video watch the video who's that i don't know it's some guy named blaka simone Roast this video? I don't have to roast this video. I spent the longest amount of time ever editing this video out of all my videos. You need to ramble less for educational content and be more concise. See, unfortunately, my, my average script, like my average YouTube script looks like this. That's basic. That's <laughs> unironically, that is like my usual. Like sometimes I'll have like three lines. That's it. I don't like having a script because like you think of things. Your cherries. Okay, fine. There. This was my script. This was the longest script I've ever written, by the way. And to be fair, I talked about everything in here and I edited a lot of ums and ums and shit out of it. Okay. And it was still 37 minutes. It is what it is. It's not a script that's methodology. Yeah, exactly. It was just telling me the things to like do. You can automate ums and uhs and dead space out in resolve. Uh, not if your dead space is me saying, you know. Unfortunately, every like quarter second. You could do that too. Can I? When do we get the director's cut? Is that a DMX version of Thomas the Dank Engine? Yes, it's amazing. Unfortunately, it'll instantly like make this video like not possible on YouTube. It's great though. Don't forget the, the, the lip smacking. All right, where the fuck is that option, by the way? I'm asking for a friend. Look, look how many fucking cuts and shit there are, as well as like audio tuning for each one. That's a lot for a video of mine. Like normally, like I'll have like three. I'll have my intro. I'll have my like uh, like my uh, my actual like intro music thing, and then I'll have the rest of the video.
I mean, it's probably somewhere. I'll, I can figure it out. Yeah, there were a lot of fast forward parts. You can transpose the audio and see a text transcript of the footage and just delete the text from the transcript and resolve does the rest. Can we can we get a coffee video? I'll give you guys an extended an extended coffee video right now, okay? Because like I cut it real short. I'll give you the full extended copy coffee video. Wait, I skipped one. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Wait, hello? Am I stupid? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, put that in there. Oh, I skipped that one. No, I didn't. I fucking love knobs. Okay, extended coffee video time. I'm gonna turn down my desktop audio so this can blow your ears off. All right, let's go. I move that over there. There, problem solved. Oh wait, no, I fucked that one up. I had to like go and fix it, didn't I? All right, let's try again. I didn't have the plug in. I literally didn't have the plug. Wait, was there a third one? Uh, anyway, whatever, let's continue. This is totally in order, by the way. Oh, that's also not in order at all. This was post bloom. I'm like missing half of it. Uh, gooseneck kettle, very much worth. Why did you record yourself making coffee uh, for uh, this portion of the video? No, wait, no, but watch my YouTube video. You'll fucking see it. Isn't that too fine for pour over? Uh, preference. It's all preference. Oh, okay. Did we did we do all the things? We did all the things. Is there something interesting we can watch? Uh, it's not that much of a light bean. It's just the exposure settings. Q and A? No.
Oh, that was amazing. Uh, uh, first of all, for my recommended videos, uh, it's not my main YouTube account, but my main YouTube account also has recommended videos that are good. Uh, the secret is to uh, go here, click on history and remove shit that is going to make it sussy. Uh, second of all, the alcohol that I'm drinking is Storichnaya, the sussy vodka. Oh, here, you want to see my actual YouTube account? I don't think, yeah, it's not available. Do you want me to send you another nice bottle? No, please. What's, what, what are those guys that, what do you mean lukewarm? It's pretty cold in this room. Uh, what is it? Like, uh, like, what is it? Like floppy, this, so, songs? It's gotta be a good one. Yeah. Show me the floppatron. Oh, wow. He hasn't made a video in 10 months. Ooh. Regardless, if if you can slash want to afford it, is there any upcoming board you're excited about? I'm excited about James's boards. I'm excited about Gianna's boards. I'm excited about lots of makers. Have you ever heard Mongolian throat metal? Yes. All right, fuck it. Final countdown, and then we'll end the stream. Watch the CS:GO major. I'm pretty sure like the the vod would just be instantly de like blocked on uh, YouTube. Video I click on just fucking makes me happy. It's so good. And yes, of course, it's some random fucking Polish dude. There's probably like some like crazy bitching songs too. No way. Okay, last song, then we end the stream.
yeah check out this guy's channel like i'm, I'm not gonna play like every single song here you, you should absolutely check out his song like check out the songs yourself on his channel they are wild simon needs to add trombone to this absolutely i'm all about that trombone uh Lou teensy bit of q a if you guys care slash have questions slash question mark <clears throat> uh, i can't get super drunk tonight because i have guests tomorrow paul and poirier are coming over we're gonna do game night i gotta cook well me and kate are both cooking what would make you get to stop doing IC group buy reviews? I mean, like, if I can't afford to, like, live or have a place to stream, then I can't stream. Are you into IEMs? I was temporarily. Like, I got a nice dap. I got, like, two, three pairs of not super fancy, but, like, nice IEMs. And then I came to the realization that this is fucking stupid. I'm never doing any critical listening while I'm outside. If I'm inside, I'm going to use my speakers or, like, my nice headphones and amps. So why am I going to sit here with dildos in my ears? Like, it's not going to make a difference because I'm moving around. Uh, if you sit down at your desk and you're doing critical listening, please don't fucking use IEMs. Speakers, headphones, IEMs. Oh. What temperature do I use for pour over? It depends. Like, 94? C? What you cooking? Uh, I'm doing some nice, just, uh, I'm doing uh, chicken breast that uh, I do with like uh, olive oil, brown sugar, uh, paprika. It's nice. It's like really sweet, really juicy. It's really delicious. Uh, Kate's going to do Alfredo pasta and there were some strawberries on sale, like really on sale. Like they were so fucking cheap. So I'm going to do uh, strawberries and yogurt, which is like a dish my mom used to make. Have you played a hat in time? I've not. I finished writing cover letters. Yeah, good luck. At least you live in a country where like you'll actually get some sort of response. Whereas here, I'll put out an average of like, let's say 10 to 20 like job posts a day, every day for the last like six, seven months. And I've gotten one callback. <clears throat> and that was from a place where like they had a really low end job and I posted it specifically being like, hey, listen, I know this is a really low end job. This is not at my level at all. If you have a high-end job, let me know. Is it practically impossible to have an internal weight that extends to the space bar? Would it make the... Well, I mean, theoretically, no. Your entire bottom could be brass, but you, 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 you don't want brass that far down. You generally want brass further up. I don't like my head to be clamped by headphones. Just find headphones that don't have like a high clamping force. Uh, fun fact, uh, you know what this item is? Uh, this is meant to actually support the headphones on your head. So they don't have to clamp to your head in order to not fall down. So just find one that's got like a really comfy band or a really comfy band add-on that you can replace. Oh, what ratio do you like? Uh, I do uh, I do 16 grams for 250 grams uh, of water which is my usual. Uh, normally I'd go more, but I'm trying to like conserve on coffee. Come Taiwan when? Uh, no. I need to apply to American companies. Don't you fucking dare. I need those jobs. Ghosted by Alex and employers who support you. Uh, gives you headset hair. Just do this and it goes away. How did you start drinking coffee? I, my parents gave me coffee. And I was like, nine? And I was just like, this is great. From entry. Okay, fine. How about this? If I find, like, if I get a, if I get a, I mean, realistically, I'd be looking for marketing jobs, not tech jobs. But if I get a tech job, like high level, like infrastructure, architecture, something like that, I'll hook you up. Headset hair, they're dense on the side. Do you see any dents in my magnificent hair? Thirteen grams to two hundred four. I can't do math, but yeah, that sounds similar. I made a huge mistake and listened to Hi-Fi Man Ananda Nano. Somebody got five hundred bucks to send some random dude from the interwebs. Giggle. I mean, you don't need like crazy, crazy expensive headphones to just you know have a good time. Uh, 
uh, I don't know. To, like, I, I'm not somebody that should be talking because, like, I did pony up and, like, spend good money to, like, have good headphones. I consider these bad headphones and these, like, are $1,000. But, you know, they're good enough for streaming, so. I don't know. Like, uh, prior to having good headphones, I had DT 1990s, which I own. Are we getting bombed? Or is there a thunderstorm? I mean, I have DT 1990s, which are fine as long as you've got like a warm M. Main problem is sweat if you don't have AC privilege. Yeah, that's rough. You can go close back. Like you have to go something that's very well ventilated. I have recommendations, but they start at like $2,000. How could I improve the sound of my old Apple keyboard? Or should I just leave it? No, leave it, leave it. Leave it and then like someday if like you find like a super nice like keyboard that you want to build and you've got the Alp switches there, you, you just harvest them, it's fine. Can you give us leaks for potential future guides? Nope. I'm enjoying my focal... Focal clears. Are you? Have you tried HD 800s? I have. What is my end game headphone? Uh, define end game. I, I, I don't know what my end game headphone is. I know what my like next headphone that if I have money, I buy. It's probably going to be Meze Elites or, you know, it's probably Meze Elites. Meze Elites out of like a nice, fully balanced, multiple stage tube amp and into like a nice R2R deck. How did you like the HD 800s? They're boring. They're super, super boring. Uh, I like, not just me, but like anybody that's like, an actual audiophile, not some fucking idiot. This is like, I look at graphs because surely our ears can hear graphs. <coughs> headphones with like a very flat or very accurate frequency response are the worst headphones because they're just going to be fatiguing to your ears. You you want something warm. You want something subtle. You want something that's got a little bit of spice, you know. Uh, HD 800S are the equivalent of boiled chicken breast with no seasoning. Whereas I'm going to have grilled chicken breast with brown sugar and paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper, olive oil, throw a little, uh, you know, half cut garlic in there in the olive oil while it roasts. That's, that's the good shit. Don't you guys EQ? <gasps> Don't you fucking dare. J just so you understand what EQing is in terms of actual audio file. Uh, you know that like the BMW M3, I don't know if they still do it, but at one point they did, where uh, the cabin was so quiet that they played engine sounds out of the speaker. So you would think that you're hearing the sounds of the engine when you actually weren't. That's basically doing EQ when it comes to like actual audio. Just get something that sounds the way you like it. Have you tried HD 280s? I have not. Is there a decent way to get a decent audio setup for sub 200? No. And I know that sounds like, bam, I'm just like flat out being a dick. No, it's me speaking from experience. The amount of like, uh, you know, uh, lower budget to mid budget stuff that I went through and essentially ended up fucking wasting because I don't use them anymore and they're fucking worthless. So many. Uh, the minimum I recommend is like $500 for a stack. So that can amp. So that way you can at least get like an, uh, like a basic like uh, multi-bit or R2R DAC and like a decent amplifier that's got something going on. And then maybe like five, 600 bucks minimum for headphones. You can EQ it to your liking, no. So that's like saying, I'm going, I am going to go to the fucking Louvre and look at all these famous paintings, but I'm going to wear glasses that, you know, twist everything 45 degrees and have swirls in the middle. Okay, fine. You, you can do that, but that's not what the artist intended you to, you know, capture with your eyeballs. It's the same thing for music. Things were recorded and mastered to be a specific way. If you don't like how it sounds, then you don't like the song.
Uh, some soy sauce, pepper, salt, garlic, makes chicken breast moist and yummy, my lazy way. Uh, fun fact, uh, air fryer, like cheap, super cheap air fryer. Oh, the best chicken breast. Like I use it if I'm cooking for myself. If I have to cook for like multiple people and I have to make like eight chicken breasts, I can't do it because my air fryer is small. But air fryer, you literally put it in, you press chicken and it's perfectly soft, crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Mm, so good. Utopias or auteurs? Auteurs are not great. Utopias are not great. Is it worth jumping into the audio rabbit hole when I'm fine with $20 IMs? No. No. The, the, the best actual audio advice that I can give anyone is literally don't fucking spend any money. Sit on like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, shit like that, and wait for super nice studio monitors to be like for sale for like a couple hundred bucks. Like I have uh, Adam A8Xs, which are like this big, amazing studio monitors. I got them for like $400 for the pair. They're $2,000 for the pair. Like they're big and bulky. So like people don't want to deal with them. People don't want to ship them. So like people are going to try and sell it locally. You can look for like vintage Yamaha stuff. You can look for, you know, modern-ish studio monitors. And once you've got those, oh, you will have an experience. And the beauty about good studio monitors is you don't have to play them loud. Like I've never gone over like 7%, 8% volume in my home because I'll set the uh, speakers themselves to 50% and then my amp to like 16% max. Uh, these motherfuckers were so powerful that when I first got my new amplifier, uh, my speakers were turned up to half and my amplifier was brand new. And, you know, I turned the knob all the way down, I pressed play, and I didn't realize it was in line out mode, which means no volume control. I played it for a second, less than a second. Like the, the amount of time it took me to notice and pause it, I couldn't hear for hours. All the paintings fell off my walls. They're stupidly fucking powerful, but you don't have to use that power. They're still crisp, they're still nice, they're still enjoyable. You don't have to sit there with shit on your ears. You can just sit in your couch, read a book, Watch porn on your iPad. Whatever you're going to fucking do. Beautiful. Any audio interface recommendations? Would be using with a mic and powered speakers. Okay, see, so you want two things. You want an audio interface and you want an app. Those are two separate things. Uh, my only recommendation is don't look for an all-in-one unit. Look for just a good unit for each of them. Uh, I use, uh, give me one second, I will show you. Okay. I use this. This is a Zoom H6. It's fucking tiny. It's a field recorder, but it's a field recorder that, God damn it, huh? It's a field recorder that takes six inputs, does Phantom 48 volts, has USB out. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking great. It's so good for the price. Amazing audio interface. It powers this as well as well as like the microphone that I'm talking to you on. It's fucking fantastic. Sounds great. It's got, uh, it's got like uh, limiters built in. It's got like anything you would need built in. It's pretty dope. And then like to power my speakers, I use, well, not a recommendation, okay? Not a recommendation, but I use a, uh, an, an army, ADI2. But I use that because I use speakers, I use headphones, and I use IEMs all on the same unit, which is the most amazing thing. It's like an $800, $900 thing, so like maybe not a good investment unless you're willing to spend that kind of money. But when you're lubing your switches, that's EQing your switches? No, no, it's lubing your switches. I mean, EQ is a correction for transducer slash room shortcoming. Uh, still. Treat your room. Got very good hearing and I prefer transparent headphones. Yeah, everybody's got a preference. Simon, what would you consider minimum budget for good audio setup? $1,200, $1,300? I don't know. But like actually good. Like, uh, maybe get a Modi multi-bit, which I know it's not balanced, whatever, but it's like 200 bucks from shit. Uh, get yourself, you know, and it, it depends what your headphones are going to be. Generally, I like to like, 
do I like to walk backwards? No, I kind of buy everything all in one where like I buy headphones knowing the DAC and amp I'm going to plug them into. Same budgeting question, but for streaming setup, you're totally fine with a Logitech webcam. The only thing that matters when streaming is one, lighting. You want good? Hammy cat. Hey, ham. Hammy cat. What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? Huh? What's going on? Why are you all tailing? What's up? Can I help you? Huh? Hamilton. What? Are you just... Are you just starved for attention? He's fucking starved for attention. He's home planning. Okay. Uh, so, streaming setup, you don't need a super nice camera, okay? You don't need to have, like, crazy macro cams on counterweighted jigs and shit like that. You, you don't need that. The most important thing is good lighting. Good lighting can overcome a bad camera. Second thing you want is decent audio because nobody's going to watch your stream if you don't have decent audio. Get a nice USB dynamic microphone and you're chilling. Like, don't worry about it. You don't need a stream deck. You don't need any bullshit. You don't need like streamer specific lights. Uh, these were like $50 lights. And the only issue with them is that they had loud fans in them. So I took it apart and I replaced the fans with Noctua fans. So yeah, like you, you, you don't need a you don't need a lot of money to start streaming. Like as a matter of fact, you need nothing. Like you could start with your laptop, like built-in camera, and as long as you've got a decent microphone on the side, you're chilling. Fortunately and unfortunately, as long as you have any webcam, the only thing that matters for a stream is the streamer itself. I mean, yeah, I mean th the amount that I've spent on fucking just wild like wild camera improvements and shit like that. Has that gotten me more viewers? No, it's just, you know, it's just easy. Like, I don't know. It's just making the stream better for the people that support me. So I don't know. None of it was required. Like I've got the bitch in a streaming computer too, which you absolutely don't need. Don't fall into the rabbit hole and listen to music instead of listening to your gear. Yeah, yeah. Like, unironically, like, the amount of times I'll just take my phone with me and just play music on the speaker of the phone while, like, cooking or showering or whatever, you know, I don't put in earbuds. It's fine, you know. I like good music. Ignored? Wait, what'd you say about you? What would you recommend 2K starting? Okay, let's 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 kit a two K. It completely depends. Let's let, let's do it real quick, okay? All right, audio two K budget. We're gonna have uh, basically two categories. We're gonna have warm, chill, as in like relaxing, and then uh, analytical, harsh, okay. And for each of these, I'll give you a DAC and an amp. For warm, I'm going to want a Modi. Mo Actually, I'd want a Bifrost. I think these are like 600 bucks. And then I want a Lear 3. I don't know if there's a 4, which is around about 400 bucks. It's a nice, simple tube amp. It, it, it gives you room to like upgrade. And then we got a thousand dollars to spend on headphones. I'd probably go uh, Aeolus. There, that's two K. For analytical, I'd probably uh, for the amp would go the seven eight nine or equivalent. I I can't type words by the way. Uh, or actually, no, 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 fuck that. I'd go for a uh, RME uh, Addy 2. And then, so that's like 800 bucks if you get it at a good price. That gives you 1200 bucks for like super clean analytical headphones. Uh, 1200 to spend on best focals you can get. There you go. Now, to be fair, 
you could take the uh, RME Addy 2 and put in like warm headphones. That's what I have right here. But I use it for streaming, not for listening to music. Uh, it works. It works. Uh, oh, 2K for headphones because I have the DAC and M. Prefer neutral, slight warm. Get. Uh, uh, What's the difference between open back and closed ones? Uh, open backs, when you're wearing them, you can still hear what's going on. And also people standing next to you can kind of hear it as well. The advantage of that is like the sound sounds like it's not coming from right next to your ears. It kind of can sound like it's coming from far away. Uh, closed backs, opposite. You can't hear what's going on. People outside of your ears do not hear your music as much. But really good closed back headphones also give you a simulation of things being far away. Uh, let's see. Can you get can you get Empyreans for two K? Because if you can get Empyreans for two K, absolutely fucking go for them. They're super comfy. They're slightly warm. They're good. Yep, this is under two K. These they look fucking stupid as shit. But they are very, very good, comfy headphones. Open backs, huge fucking planars. If I had 1700 bucks, I'd buy these, unironically. Look into them. They're a little bit warm, but as long as you're like Dak and Amp or, you know, neutral, you're chilling. Unless you think I should swap out Modius Magnus Dak for something like this, that would be like pissing into the gas tank of your Ferrari, but yeah. Mazay super comfy, but sound kind of muffled. The Imperians? Imperians should sound okay. Then again, the Elites is like, you know, more of what I'd be interested in over the Imperians. What are planars? Uh, so instead of having a dynamic driver where like there's a baffle that's being like physically moved by a magnet, you've seen how a speaker works. Uh, planar magnetic headphones work a little bit differently. Uh, look them up. What DAC amp would be required? I mean, you can still run it from that. Uh, I don't know. At the very least, I'd get like an Addy 2 or something. Preferably, I'd move up to like, you know, a cord device. Like a Dave. How much is that? Yeah, that's like $10,000. Okay. <laughs> don't listen to my advice. I am stupid. In terms of like required, you're fine. You don't have to upgrade shit. Yeah, this is literally ten thousand dollars. And yeah, like most planers need output, but you know you can just put it into high gain and turn it up, and you'll be okay. Oh no, it's fourteen thousand dollars. My mistake. Yeah, don't ask. Don't ask me for audio advice unless like you you actually want like end game audio. Then yeah, I'm down. Is DT770 still a decent buy? Uh, if you have a warm amp or you actually put an EQ in to protect your ears, yeah. Because the DT line, with the exception of the 1990, all have really aggressive high end that will literally make you go deaf. And by that, I mean they will damage your hearing. Oh, it's a, it's a spicy meatball. Wish I had more Sprite. Could I get more Sprite? I love my DT 770s. The ringing won't stop. I mean, I had 1990s. They were great. So they have, they're like a little bit more expensive than like the 990s, but they're not as aggressive. I actually sold them to somebody in the hobby. Sold them to uh, Invisibility. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to go grab whiskey. Uh, send me that text file. Wait, what text file?
This one? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to send you the text file. Hit me up in the DMs. Tell me specifically what you want. I'll help you out. Like, I'll help you out. Like, that was kind of like a, like a cookie cutter response. Like, if you want a specific response, I need to know what kind of music you listen to, uh, you know, what bit rates you're listening to, stuff like that. Like, what are you trying to get out of it? As some, it's like somebody asking you, oh, what's the best car? Well, it, it, it depends. Are you trying to drive to work? Do you need something reliable? Do you want something fast? Do you want to take it to the track? Do you want to lug a whole bunch of fucking two by fours? Do you want to look really manly in front of other men? Do you want to look really sexy in front of other women? Pick one. Hi, me cat. Oh, how was you? Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing? What's wrong? The French kisses. Oh. Hamilton. All right, let me go get some Sprite. Thanks. Good. Good boy. Oh, you get PP? Oh. No. Here. Come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God damn. Well, Hammy Cap, come on, Ham, Ham, Sid, good boy. You want another one? Okay, PP, Hammy Cap, PP, Ham. Beefy? Good boy. Okay. <clears throat> All right, back to Q&A. <clears throat> What's the best keyboard, the Fossil, Jane? Wait, what do you mean Fossil? I mean, for me, the best keyboard that I have ever tried was my personal Jane V2. I've tried other Jane V2s. Mine was still the best. Because so I put all the love into it. Oh, VT770 is the staple of V-shaped sound. Yeah. It's unfortunate because like vocals sit in the middle of the V. Uh. Are you bringing that server rack when you move? Yeah. Because nobody here is going to give me even close to what it's worth. So, yeah, I'm absolutely bringing it. 
I'll also bring my network switches, my uh, my home automation stuff, my streaming stuff, everything else. Hello, Simon. I was wondering what plate you would run in the Jane V2. Depends. Are you are you what are you trying to get? Are you you? I mean, when I built it, I wanted like a super super high end, like very flexy, very smooth, like fucking crazy linear. So I went like PC half plate with like super, super well done switches. How will I transport it? I'm going to ship it in a container along with my other shit. What's realistically the difference between top keeps like the F1 8X V2 versus the Jane V2? I mean, I don't own an F1 V2. I own an F1 V1. I mean, not anymore. Uh, it's just better, dude. It's just better. It's just better. It's just better. What do you want me to say? Ham. Calm your tits, buddy. I'm so happy I bought HD 600s. Yeah, they're good. What was the point of putting vintage black stems in zeal housings? Uh, so they were broken in cherry picked zeal housings. And I know that those housings are significantly smoother than like, let's say OEM 1988 replacing replacement housings or like any cherry, like vent cherry housing that would actually have pins because if we're talking like 1984, 1985 with German, they weren't five pin, they were three pins. So they didn't have the feet. Uh, but yeah, they were the, Smoothest thing I could have done. Are those stems smoother than zeal stems? Yeah, of course they are. Simon, do you have any tips for my space bar who's ticking only when I do not flip it? Well, if it's ticking, it stabs. If it's, oh my fucking God. Huh. Huh. What's wrong? Cat. Oh, Molten. Hey, come. Come. Hey. Hey. Come. Oh, Molten. He is very cute, but he's also a, a, a committer of acts of terror. Oh. Okay, so uh, it's definitely your wire. It's definitely your wire on one side. Figure out what side that is. Uh, easiest solution, uh, get in there with a little tube of super lube, stick it in the hole, squirt it in there, see if that solves it. If not, you might have to replace the wire. <clears throat> Hi, Simon. I was thinking of making a one-off out of 20, uh, 50-52. This would reduce resonance and pitch, yes, ever so slightly, but it would make uh, finishing a lot more difficult. But certain colors would look a lot better on 5 Series. Ooh. Same like my cat, a bully, but at the same time, the biggest pussy ever. Yep, that is, that is, that is H-O-M. We're not going to say his name. We're not we're not gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna give him that that reward. All right, give me a quick second. Let me look at Bachu's DM because I can probably answer you. Hello, Simon. Regarding current headphone upgrades, I'm pretty happy with my current setup, but this is something I'd like to keep in mind for the future. Currently Modius Magnius and Focal Clears. I listen to pretty much anything but rap. Wow. The genres I hear the most are or or uh, orchestral, metal, and funk, which is good. Uh, currently listening to 48k bitrate, but Spotify is cut, so I might need to drop it to 44.1. That's not great. Uh, what I was talking bitrate, I meant like bits. Like, is it 16 bit, 24 bit, 32 bit? But it's fine. I'm currently looking for neutral, slightly warm sound profile since I compose music. If you're composing music and shipping it, you don't want that. You want like flat. 
Mm, comfort is nice since I'm literally wearing headphones 24 seven. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like if you're wearing headphones 24 seven and like comfort is your number one, I'd still go with like the Meze Imperians. The The nice thing about the Meze Imperians is like buy them. And if you don't like them, like if you, if you buy them used, let's say you spend like 1700 bucks. If you don't like them, you can sell them for 1700 bucks. Yeah, but but your DAC and amp will have to upgrade to come match it. You're going to get like 45, 50, maybe as high as like 70% of like the maximum capability of your headphones out of what you currently have. You know, that's no dig on, you know, the Magnus Modius stack. It's just the Empyreans are, they're wild. All right, I'm going to finish this drink and then we're going to finish this stream. And nobody can stop me. Not even... Uh, that guy. Oh. Don't worry about it. Which designer should I get a hold of if I want to get a one-off design? Uh, there's pretty much no designer that will design for you. Nobody wants to because it's not worth the fucking effort. Uh, generally, when a designer designs a keyboard, the amount of, you know, the amount of time and effort they put into it is, you know, uh, an investment into the light at the end of the tunnel that they will see from a large group buy in which, you know, they're going to take home tens of thousands of dollars. Unless you're willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars, there is no fucking good designer that's, when I say good, I mean like real good, that's going to want to do it. I don't know. That's my experience when I was working on my series of blog posts on uh, Illuminati.works. And that's that's where I struggled. Like I was going through all this, like I was going to blog about like all the steps of actually creating, designing, shipping a keyboard. But then when it came to the design stage, basically every designer was like, no, I just won't fucking take designs. Hallie good? Hallie's okay. Not not like bad okay. Good okay. But you said, if I were to find a nice pair, what would be the DAC amp upgrade? I mean, if if you can only spend 800 bucks, get a ADI 2. Realistically, like the Empyreans are like headphones that will scale to like a hundred thousand dollar setup. That's how good they are. And quite often you'll need that setup to like see a hundred percent out of them. Start digging around, start digging around on like nice warm amps, nice warm DACs, look into vintage shit, look into R2R shit. I don't know. You, you got to put the work in. Like finding a, a, a good audio setup that works for you is not a decision that, you know, one, you ask somebody and just take their word as fucking like uh, gospel. It's months. It's months of research to find like, hey, okay, I like this. I like this DAC, for example. What are amps that pair well with it? And also my headphones, stuff like that. Hello, Simon. I encountered someone who said the difference between bounce and flex is negligible when you are typing. I know that a lack of a mounting plus in the space bar, you can tell, but what else is there? Uh, people can tell the difference between bounce and flex. If somebody says, I can not tell the difference between bounce and flex, it means they haven't tried something that's maximum bouncy or something that's maximum flexy because they feel very, very different. Like if you're typing like at the speed of sound, bounce is going to feel stiffer than flex. I don't know. They're different. JDS Labs Atom 2s are good for the price. Sure. I wouldn't plug them into Meze Empyreans, but they're good. They've always been good. That's the one with like the big knob up top, right? The two flat boys. Or am I literally like hallucinating? Let's Google. Yeah, they're the flat boys. So 
for reference, something that like I'd plug Meze Empyreans into would be like uh I know it's not loading the pictures yet, but I know which one. Something like this. Like if 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 I was gonna plug Imperians into something, this is for non-balanced. So this is like single-ended. But if I wanted to go balanced, we'd probably be talking something bigger. Probably something like this. I mean, I, I wouldn't buy this, but like you know. It gets spicy. Audio gets spicy. It's 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 a silly place. Just don't get involved. Is the HE one any good? The the oh the headphones. Are you, are you talking about the literal fifty thousand dollar headphones? I mean, yeah, they're good. Probably not for fifty thousand dollars. Auto gear and camera gear scares me. I mean, for camera gear, at least like there is the understanding of like, hey, if I'm going to spend a bunch of money, it's because I'm going to use it to make money. You know, like I spent big on like uh, video equipment for my stream because I use it for my stream, you know, but then for audio equipment, it's out of love. So I'll buy things that I'm going to buy for life and I'll buy things that like I'll like I don't have like crazy amps or anything like that. Like I have really, really nice speakers, but I plug them into like a $1,200 streamer, which is a DAC amp combo that I managed to find that's amazing because it has dual DACs and is balanced. And it's fucking great. And it has no right being that cheap. But yeah, I run a uh, Cambridge audio uh, thing. It's good. The HE's amp plus headphones, sure. But it's still, oof. You, you don't need to spend that much money. I'm pretty sure at the $50,000 price point, you can get something, if not some things, way nicer. You could probably kit out like a super nice DAP with some bitch in like custom molded IEMs. Uh, you can get a full on speaker setup, like studio speaker setup, not like a surround speaker setup uh, with, you know, a super nice, you know, uh, Macintosh tube amp and a nice DAC. Uh, and then, you know, for your sitting at your desk, you can pick up, I don't know, some like Meze Elites or, or whatever out of like, you know, a super nice linear solid state amp and a super nice R2R DAC. And you'd probably still have like $20,000 left over for hookers. And Blackjack. At 50K, I'm getting a fucking Mazda RX-7. I wouldn't even spend 50k on a Mazda, but yes. H1 clears all headphones, but speakers exist. Th that's the thing. It doesn't clear all headphones because, again, it depends on what you listen to. Like, if I listen to metal, like super hardcore tech metal, I don't want an HE1. I want, like, some super high-end abyss where, like, it, it doesn't miss a beat, you know? It's not meant to be smooth. It's meant to slap, you know? It depends. Everything depends. At 50K, I'm paying down payments for a house. Where the fuck are you finding a house for 250K? At, at, the, at the bottom of like a cliff? Heavy metal on quality speakers is chef's kiss. Heavy metal on like super, super tight, super like fast responsive like Abyss headphones. Oh, uh, it is very fatiguing though. It is very, it, it sounds beautiful. It sounds so fucking good. It sounds like they are literally plugging. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It sounds like they're literally plugging their guitars into your ears and their drums into your ball sack. It's so good. The only issue is after like 20 minutes, your ears aren't hot, but they feel hot. You're so fatigued. On the files that I've downloaded, I have maximum bits possible. You have 32-bit audio? That's fine. What setup would be best to listen to Floppatron? Uh, a plane ticket. 
to Poland. Go to Poland, go to the guy's house, and just be like, I want an exclusive concert. Simon, is the F1 going to be cut like the F2 now that Gian sold a bajillion units? So here's the thing. Gian did make a mistake, but then Gian did everything in his power to rectify that mistake and handled it well. Gian is not the kind of guy that makes the same mistake twice. Uh. If he did, he wouldn't be Gian, and I wouldn't love him as much. So I think it'll be fine. I think he's smart enough to take his time and deliver a good product. Simon, can I go to your house and get an exclusive concert for Gator Dance? Yes. Everybody's welcome to my house. All right, when you're really done, we're ending the stream real soon. So if you have any last minute questionitos, please let me know in the chat, which is that way. Promise, I'm a professional streamer. I'm making burgers. Fuck yeah, make some burgers, dude. I was going to make burgers tomorrow, but we have guests, so. Is anything happening with those design cost contest winners? I don't know. Communication has been kind of, eh. Anandas are stupid fast and reach sub bass without coloring sound. Perfect for aggressive metal. Okay, are they what I think they are? Like, are, are, are they half, are they hi-fi men? Because, okay, they are. So there's, with my experience and the experience of others that I've learned secondhand, you know, they say a smart man learns from his mistake, a wise man learns from other people's mistakes. I've learned that hi-fi men will have drivers that fail all the fucking time and they'll spend more often being back there getting fixed than on your ears. And hi-fi men have the, you know, the build quality of like this plastic bag and will just fucking fall apart. Their drivers are good, but they kind of fall apart. Yeah, they're $500 headphones. They're probably okay. Then again, then again, you got to listen to the right abyss. Oh, they go fucking hard. They go fucking hard. Can you convince the Cycle 8 people to have a simple sound blasted? External weight? Probably. How am wants to be painted like one of my French girls? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, he does. You know, roughly when you'll move to the US, I mean, I don't know until like visa shit happens and I get interviews at the consulate, like go in for the interviews and I go through like seven different levels of approval. Uh, hopefully, like, January, February of next year, I should be in the US. I hope that's what I've planned for financially. So if it's any longer than that, I'm just fucked. If it's any shorter than that, that's great. All right, lads. Ah, is somebody streaming keyboards? Could somebody find out for me, please? Because I'm bad at internet. Scuffed boards is streaming. There we go. Thank you. I don't see him. Am I banned? He rated someone else? Oh. All right, well. Hmm. 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 Listen, just chatting is everything but fucking chatting. 
Okay, this guy's fucking chatting. The bike one looks cool. It kind of does. I'm going to do a bicycle emoji. <laughs> 